Why shouldn't you write with a broken pencil? Because it's pointless. You won't. Hey, if you're new here, welcome to our off-grid cabin. Welcome to MBF. Mapleberry Farm, that's what the MBF stands for. Maple syrup, blueberries, other berries. That's what we farm. So we'll be farming on a bigger scale coming soon. Anyways, we're currently in the process of building this. The exterior's all done. The interior, we're still working on it. But we wanted to give you a look at how it's coming along, how it's set up and how things are going on the inside. So bear with us, we're still working on it. We're gonna give you a tour of the cabin here today and uh, let you know what we're going on and maybe some of the future plans we have for it also that we're working on. So it's 20 by 30. It's actually a 20 by 36 footprint because you see the front covered ports, that's six feet out. A Little more with the eave there and stuff and the deck comes out probably seven feet and then with the stairs you know probably 10 feet total like that but that's the footprint like because we have it on steel screw piles so they just drill into the ground and then build your beams off that as opposed to like cement piers or something we went with those because you can basically just this was a muddy spot so we had a pad built up to get it up off the ground first and then put the screw piles down below the frost line and then you're just good to go within an afternoon they're in and you're building that that evening so we really like them. We used them before on, on other builds, so we kept with them again with this one. You can see all that stuff. There's playlists all on our channel. You can check out to see the entire build. There's also time lapses if you want to check those out. Uh, one of them probably just scrolled up here recently, and you can check that out to be able to see like uh, the whole build in little segments if you want, or you can watch it all at once. So pretty cool if you want to check that out. Anyways, let's go inside. I'll show you kind of our setup we got going on in here. So right underneath this porch here, this is something that I wish we had done the last build we did. We built it a little differently and we had our main entrance on the side. But putting our main entrance on the gable here, I always like the trapper style cabins, I guess is how I always call them. When this comes right out over the front and then you have space, that box over there, there's wood. Keep some wood in that, got snowshoes hanging there. There's a security camera up there. We actually have satellite internet, so that's why we can actually surveillance this if we were to let me off the property and stuff too. So it's pretty cool anyways, but under here we wanted this covered porch because with all the snow everywhere and everything right now in here is still good even with it open. So it's a spot also to sit here if it's raining and stuff uh, during the summertime, spring and fall. So this was probably my favorite thing we did different on this cabin was having this uh, front porch covered right off the hop so it was pretty cool if you check out the siding here up here the whole thing sided with hemlock so that's we had that milled we've had a uh, few batches of that milled we've done a few different builds when we we really like that shiplap hemlock so there's a mill about an hour from us where we can get that milled up and we love it so that's what we this is sided with is all hemlock all right now let's go inside All right, so as soon as you come in, right over here to the right, this is just like temporary shelving we have right now, just for, you know, keep stuff, utensils and stuff, and somewhere to cut up some meat or something just for now. Eventually going forward, this will be a, a kitchen area. And then the doors right behind me there, if you're looking at it from this way, the sink and stuff, this is actually where the drain is and stuff in the walls there. And then so the, the you know the sink will be on this wall. Then we'll have cupboards here and everything here, probably an island or something. But that's uh plans we have going forward, but that's just the gist of it how it is now. So right now it's just like a table, kitchen area, you know, that where we eat and chill out right now till we get to this part, which we're not too far away from getting here. We're just doing one room at a time in the interior now so we're working on a back room there I'll show you here in a minute and then we'll you know get to the next bedroom and then 
so on. If you notice here also, this is uh, Rockwell insulation. So this is sound proofing insulation. We do that because this is the bathroom here. So, you know, you want to keep things down in there. And then we have it on the bedrooms and everything too. You'll see. And that's just to, you know, give a little bit of sound proof and privacy in the bedrooms and, and in here. And then you notice here up here in Canada, you got a vapor barrier, your walls and everything. Because uh, if not, you'll have moisture and that would be bad. So it's all acoustic sealed and vapor barrier. Two by six walls. All this two by six walls do. R20 insulation. Doubled up R20 in the attic. And then speaking of the attic, that's a hatch there so we can get up into the attic if we need to get anything. If we ever end up covering that front porch in sometime, then we can always go up there, go over there, insulate that top roof there that's outside and all that too. But anyways, need an attic hatch so that's where it is. It's right here because it's only a 412 pitch on this roof, so that's like where we have the most space is in the middle, so that's why it's out here. Once we're done, we'll trim all that out. It'll look nice when we're done, so it'll be all right, and it's a practical spot. So that was like the kitchen area on that side right there I just showed you, and that's the main door I came in right there. So this is like our living room area. So that's a Pacific Energy Super 27 wood stove. That's the second one of those stoves we've owned. Those... We love them. It's an awesome stove. Great stove. Couldn't be happier about it. A lot of people ask about those eco fans. We like them. It's good to kind of circulate the circulate the air throughout, and we, we like those. Anyways, we wanted the wood stove like a central spot. This wood stove is rated for three times the size of this place, but with how much it's insulated and everything, once that's going, just a stick to keep that this place warm even in the coldest day in the winter and that's just a little temporary spot if you want to sit and watch hockey on a Saturday night this here is a well we just have a futon here so you know another place to crash also couch slash bed then window looking out down that way and then if you see down there that's just like a torpedo heater we can fire that up if we haven't been here for a day or two just to get it warm quick and then once that's going that'll keep it warm and then over here you see the wood sofa's there and like you saw that part so then in behind here, we've got another window there. And then anyways, there's going to be eventually here, we're going to put a closet here. So you see there's stuff here for washer and dryer and different, you know, there's clean outs and stuff like that. So we're going to, and then the water pipe stuff. So we don't have a well yet. The, we, the, this place is on a septic, but there's no well yet. The well's coming. We're going to put a well in probably this spring. But there'll be a closet right here anyway. Now we'll put like our hot water on demand and all those things in it. All right, and then this is like kind of the hallway area. It's not really, it's all open. Because we don't have like true hallways, I guess this is kind of a hallway in here. But because uh, that, it gives us more space with the 600 square feet that we're working with. So right above me was where that attic hatch was. These doors, that's a bathroom. We'll go in there next. That's a bedroom. And that's a bedroom. So let's check out the bathroom here. All right, so in the bathroom here, it's pretty tight in here right now. Like we have buckets of water to flush the toilet. The toilet is hooked up on septic, but we got to be able to flush it. And then if we're away, we got to keep the plumbing antifreeze in it so the so things don't freeze up and get broke. This here's just sitting here. It's not hooked up yet. We went with that size just so it doesn't take up a lot of space in the small bathroom. We do have some green board up right now that's waterproof drywall. We still got to put it up there. And we have it here in this corner because uh, we have a stand-up shower that's going in. That should have been in, but we got a bit of problems with where the valves are set. We'll get to that later. But it's all uh, ready to go. So that'll be a stand-up shower. And then, you know, not real big, but it serves the purpose of everything the way it's going to be. So this is like the master bedroom, the main one. So show you what we got going on in here. All right, so you come in here, we just have like, you know, we're storing stuff. That flooring eventually we put on here. We do have like these lights here for when you come in. They work pretty good. So we got drywall on this wall. That was just to hide the the rock wall inside so you're not sleeping with that exposed in here. And then we do still have to drywall this part. That part's just, uh, we had some extra OSB so we put it on that wall. We're actually gonna paint that and it'll turn out all right. So just, you know, a bed in here to crash for now. And well, we get this thing built. Window in each room. And they're egress windows, so we just have the one entrance in here, so it's just the one you can still like get out those windows. 
So now let's check out this room. This is the room we're actually working on. So we just got this floor down. It's a laminate floor. Looks pretty good. We got drywall on the walls. And we have the trim in here. That's what we're going to be doing next. That's probably what we're going to be showing next uh, coming up here. So we're going to be putting that on our seams, corners. We're going to be trimming it all. So then around here, going to build that out. And then this room will be done. And then there's a shiplap pine ceiling in here too. And then like I showed you, there's those lights for the rooms. They were pretty good. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. And this is just about done and then we'll move, be moving on to the other room we were just in. So I guess that's pretty much it. Gave a quick tour of uh, our cabin here. We got a lot of plans going forward this place. This will eventually be a full-time homestead. So we're just getting it all built up before we come here permanently. But we got lots more to do. Uh, this gives you a quick little tour of what we got right now. So I guess if you want to check out the next video, most likely I'm going to be throwing that trim on and finishing that room up. So then we're done with that. So again, we do have the time lapse that we put together of watching this built real quick. There's two parts of that. You can watch both parts of that. Or you could just watch all the videos each step as we went. Uh, not really, it's not like a DIY. It's just showing you what we did and how, you know, it's just me and my wife doing it together for the most part. So... So we try to, whenever we're doing something, we try to do it to make sure that we can handle no matter what it is that we're building. So to keep things within like range of me and her being able to build everything. Keeping it, you know, simple but uh, practical and, you know, all the things that we want and can do together. So it's pretty cool. Anyways, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one and uh, stop by when I get doing that trim. Thanks for stopping by.